Hey, this is Paul with MakeUseOf.com, and this is Edifier's new, but retro-looking, sub $150 Bluetooth 5.0 speaker. This is the MP230, which combines the retro looks of old-time radios from the 50s and 60s, and some modern cues from popular new speakers like the Marshall Action 2. And as you can probably guess, one of its main selling features are its retro looks, so at first I thought that this would have some compromises to sound quality. But is that the case? For its compact size and rather unique design, you'll be pleasantly surprised by how powerful and clear the MP230 sounds. And while this isn't necessarily going to be the best portable speaker for taking on the go, if you want something that's a little bit easier to move from room to room, that looks really good, can fill a small to medium sized indoor space well, then the MP230 is actually a pretty good choice. And as I'll cover, the MP230 has very few frills, but everything it does, it manages to do very well. For connectivity, you have Bluetooth 5.0, aux, USB-C, which also charges the speaker, and surprisingly, even a micro SD card slot on the back where you can load and play media off of directly. In my test, I wasn't able to find any noticeable sound quality difference between these four different playback options. However, I did sometimes notice while I was charging and playing media off of the USB-C that sometimes caused it to have electrical interference. This happened to be while I was using my gaming PC, but it didn't seem to be an issue when I was using my MacBook Pro later so I'm not entirely sure if this is more related to the connected device or the speaker itself. I do find the inclusion of a micro SD card slot a little bit odd for 2022. I don't think this is gonna be a feature that a lot of people use, but the ability to then, of course, play media directly off of a USB-C connection, I think is very important for a new device. While high-end streaming codecs like AAC and aptx low latency are absent, Bluetooth 5.0 is impressive on its own and I never found myself noticing any low quality streams or out of sync audio. built in 2500 milliamp battery, they claim that you can get up to 10 hours of playback. Louder volumes, you'll probably get closer to eight to nine hours. But in my experience, this is definitely enough charge to use it for a couple shorter listening sessions and you probably won't need to charge this for a week, maybe even two weeks at a time. That said, because you do have the conveniences of the USB-C charging, and as I'll explain, this is mostly gonna be an indoor speaker that you're only gonna really use around the house. I pretty much had this plugged in all the time when I was using it. Having a built-in battery does allow me to unplug it and use the speaker completely wirelessly as intended, but aside from using the MP230 around the house or in an office setting, I don't really think anyone's gonna be taking this on the go just because of the materials this is made out of. With its rather nice wood MDF veneer finish, as well as its cloth grill speaker front and back design and its piano keys, this is almost like a piece of furniture. It looks really nice. You know, I've got that retro design, but as you can imagine, this isn't going to be the best speaker for taking outdoors and exposing to the elements, especially water. I definitely wouldn't bring this by a poolside, for example. And as they clearly state on their site, this is advertised as a tabletop Bluetooth speaker. So indoor use is what it's intended for. Now, funny enough, one of my very few quirks with this, and I noticed it when I was powering on the unit for the first time, or actually the sounds it makes when you power it on, you turn it off, and you change its input. Now luckily, it doesn't have that very annoying, the Bluetooth device is now connected successfully in broken English that you often find on cheaper or off-brand speakers. However, I couldn't help but notice that the power off sound is very similar to the Windows log off sound. And when you change inputs, it sounds like a Discord notification. <laughs> Now, obviously this is a very minor point to bring up, but as someone who easily notices and for some reason puts a lot of emphasis into these points, I'm of the opinion that it makes the speaker feel a little bit cheesy and less premium. 
Now, because Edifier wasn't trying to make this a do-it-all wireless outdoor active speaker, they were able to design a speaker that actually looks really nice and can blend in with your decor if you want to, or it can stand out and add a little flair depending on what you're going for. The MP230 measures 164 by 84.3 by 108.8 millimeters and weighs about 762 grams. The speaker has a light brown and bronze color scheme that gives off a very premium and boutique appearance. Edifier claims that the MDF wooden enclosure is thinner than plastic and warmer to the touch than metal, allowing sound to flow tenderly into the world. Cheesy, but they're kind of right. In addition to helping with sound quality, the choice of materials and colors definitely complement my desk setup and most of my other furniture. Now, perhaps one of the more unique design elements of the speaker are those piano keys that you find at the front for its controls. Now, despite looking metal, these seem to be made out of plastic. Though they do feel good to press and they do give a nice click when pressed, I think metal might have been a better choice, or maybe even wood, as I think it would have been a really great way to really sell that retro design. Now the MDF wood is very smooth and nice to the touch. It definitely feels a lot better than plastic and definitely better than cold metal, as they say. It has a little bit of texture, but as you can quickly realize, it's not real. But from afar, you know, it wouldn't be hard to mistake this for a real piece of wood. And while it's built pretty well, again, it's designed to be placed on a desk or a shelf. It's not really designed to be taken along with you. So that's why I think if you were to throw this into a bag, it probably could get kind of scuffed or scratched really easily. Perhaps even some of the keys could get damaged. Tying everything together, you have that bronze and black fabric grill, both on the front and the back. And then you have the one Edifier logo at the top right corner. Or actually, that's the left corner. <laughs> Overall, I think styling gets about a nine, maybe a nine and a half out of 10. For its price point, you can forgive some of the cheaper materials. One thing I don't like though, are the feet at the bottom. Which one is it? It's this one. Notice how easily that came off. Within a few hours of unboxing and using this, I moved it around a little bit. Maybe I slid it against my desk and that was just enough to cause the adhesive. And you'll notice just how Poorly that's attached there. And while rather minor, and you know, you could probably fix this quite easily with a little bit of Gorilla Glue, it takes away from an otherwise very premium device overall. Now let's talk about sound quality. The MP230 provides an acoustic system that is compromised of two 48 millimeter full frequency driver units that's coupled with an integrated large size dual passive radiator. Now it's actually stereo, so it's got two speakers, both front firing, that are 10 watts, and it's powered by a class D amplifier. And all that means is it's a pretty efficient, low power unit chip inside here. And with both of its speakers being front firing, you still get a good amount of sound coming out of the back, though it's still mostly noticeable that this is the main source or direction it's coming out of. It's not quite a 360 experience, but you can fill up a room quite well if you put this in the center of it, though you will notice that on its ends, it's a little bit quieter. saying a little bit earlier, I was concerned that the focus of the speaker would be more on its design rather than its sound quality. And that when you turned it on, you'd kind of be disappointed and you'd feel like you wasted about $150 on something that looks really nice, but ultimately just becomes a paperweight. Luckily though, that's not the case here and its sound does not disappoint. I use this speaker for a mix of gaming, listening to music, podcasts, and even some video editing. For small to medium sized rooms, the MP230 gets plenty loud. I never wanted to or felt like I ever needed to really go past its 50% volume. That's how loud this thing can get. Though if needed, it can get impressively loud with very little distortion, even at 100%. <laughs> my house here, anything past 70 to 80% is way too loud and I would imagine that my neighbors could probably hear it through the walls. 
All that to say, I mean, this little thing does pack a punch and I would imagine if you wanted to throw a party with a couple friends, this could actually probably give you a lot of good energy for that room. And even with some chatter and laughter, you know, it can still power through all that noise. It is worth mentioning though that at about $150, there is a lot of competition in this market for good sounding speakers. That's not to say this is not a good sounding speaker. In fact, again, for its size, portability, it's quite impressive. But as I quickly realized, being that I'm only using this indoors and I'm mostly plugged in anyways, at that point, now I can even compare it to other similarly or even slightly larger speakers that are more permanent. For example, the Echo 4th Gen. And in my experience, I think the Echo 4th Gen just sounds a little bit better, a little bit more refined. Not to mention you get a ton of extra features and value, including of course, having wireless connectivity as well as the Alexa Assistant. Are you willing to sacrifice the really cool retro design as well as you know having a built-in battery which allows you to be completely untethered for a better listening experience? Or do you want something that's more of a statement piece? The MP230 overall sounds quite warm and has lots of bass. In fact, I was very surprised by how much low end this delivered. When you turn up the volume, you can easily feel it shake your desk. I'd even go as far as saying that the bass can at times feel a little bit overpowering as the mids and highs can get lost easily at higher volumes. The MP230 lacks any kind of EQ controls. That's not to be expected for a device at this price point and size. Though that said, if you wanna make any of those tweaks, you're gonna either need to use some kind of software on your phone or computer, or maybe even an amplifier, especially of course, if you wanna tone back some of that bass. So the Edifier MP230 is one of the best vintage looking speakers that doesn't sacrifice sound quality for its unique looks. This provides you with quick and easy wireless, wired, or even storage connectivity, which ultimately makes it a really great multi-purpose speaker that works for a lot of different setups. And while I ultimately think it succeeds at giving you that nice 50s, 60s look, there are a couple material choices that they could have done that would have made it go that extra step to really sell you on that experience. Just switching to metal, for example, for the keys would have gone a long way. And of course the feet falling off at the bottom isn't a huge deal, but it's another area that they could have focused on. And so if you're set on getting a Bluetooth battery powered speaker that has these vintage looks, there are very few options out there, and this is definitely one of the best sounding ones at $150. So thank you again for checking out this review. If you have any questions about the MP230, let us know in the comments down below. This has been Paul with Make Use of, and until the next one, we'll catch you later.